In this guide, we are going to walk through a very common coding interview question. And so this is something that if you're interviewing for a Ruby position, this is one that you might get asked. And what it is, is how to sort a set of keys in a hash and how to sort them by length. So right here, as you can see in our collection variable, we have a hash and it has a few different types of keys and they all have a different length. So right here, we have a traditional symbol type key, like some key. Then after that, we have a string based key called string key. And then we have one that's just a set of integers and they all have a different syntax, but don't let the syntax get kind of get you confused because if I copy this and come down, paste it in, one thing that you'll know if you go and run and see what collection is equaling, you'll see that Ruby by default converts each one of these. And so here you can see that we have a symbol with a traditional uh, kind of hash rocket syntax, followed by the string with the hash rocket, followed by an integer. So there's kind of like a normalization process that occurs right there. So that is all we need on that side. So, but that doesn't really get into what we need to do because what we need to do is to extract out each one of these keys so that we can sort it. And another thing that we have to do is we have to convert these because notice here that we're dealing with multiple data types. This first one's a symbol, next one is a string, and this one is an integer. And if you know anything about how to perform sorting inside of Ruby, you'll know that you need to kind of perform some type of process to convert each one of these so that they can be utilized and so that they can be compared side by side. You can't test the can you can't test the length difference between a string and an integer because there are different data types. So let's go through the exact process that we need to do in order to get this done. So first, I'm just going to add some comments here. First thing we need to do is we need to grab the keys. Now, how can you grab the keys inside of Ruby? Well, if you use our collection here as an example, there's a very helpful little method that you can call on hashes that's called just keys. So dot keys is going to bring all of the keys that we have. So as you can see, this completely ignores the value. It gets us some key, string key, and than the integer. So if we know that our first step is to grab the keys, then the next thing that we need to do is we need to convert these. So we're going to convert each one of these to strings because one of the things I want to do is to grab the length. So how exactly can we convert all of these to strings with one simple method call? Well, if you use a functional approach, then what you can do is say map, and then using the ampersand syntax, we can convert each one of these to a string. So what map is going to do is it's gonna map over each one of the values of the keys, and or I should say each one of the keys, and then from there, it's going to pass this method to it, which is to string. So if I run this code right here, as you can see, now each one of these items, even the symbol is now a string. The string, nothing happens to it because it was already a string value, so that stays the same. And then as you can see, our integer right here has now been converted to a string. Now that we have each one of these, now we can perform our sorting mechanism. So right here, I can call sort underscore by, and then pass it a block. So I'm going to use a block variable called item. And then inside of this, I simply need to say item dot length. And what this is going to do is this is going to take each one of the items and sort by takes a block and inside of the block, whatever you pass into it is what it's gonna use to sort. So now if I run this code right here, our collection is going to be sorted and as you can see it's now sorted by the length of these values so we have the sorted string first because it only has four characters followed by the one that was a symbol 
followed by the string. So this is all working perfectly. So I'm going to also add in here the next few items just so you can have these in your show notes. So I'm going to say convert to string, then we're going to sort by length. So I wanted to kind of take a little bit more time on this one because if you are using this and you're studying for a coding interview question, then this is an important thing to do. Not just find the answer, but also walk through what your process is. Walk through how you're going to grab the keys. Then from there, how you're going to convert the data type. And then how you can use the sort by method in order to implement that. So I'm going to grab these and let's paste it in. I'm going to create a method and because we want our test to pass, it needs to be called key sorter as you can see right here. So I'm going to say def key sorter. It takes a hash as an argument. So I'm going to change collection to hash. Not that there's anything special about using that name. It's just something that I want to put in here so that it's easy for anyone else to read later on. And now if I come down here, if I say key sorter pass in the collection, this should do exactly what we want. And looking after I run the code, you can see that everything is still working. So this means that also all of the uh, all of the tests should now be passing. So if I run RSpec February 17th and run this, all of the RSpec tests are passing. So right here you can see that as the expectation of being called as a method, passing in a hash, and then that equaling a new sorted collection, a sorted array that has each one of the items sorted no matter what data type it was to start off with.